Hey guys, it's Chris the Apple One giving you an overlook in the new futures of iOS 6. So iOS 6 was just released yesterday. This is kind of a last minute video. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So first future, I'm actually just looking on Apple's website where it says the 200 new futures. Uh, so first I'm going to start out with Maps, if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so Maps is definitely much better on the, uh, I think it's the iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, and the iPod Touch 5th generation. Because it has the three, 3D Maps overview, which gives you an overview of the most popu popular cities. So, Apple didn't really do the whole world. That would be kind of hard, taking pictures of the whole world, though. So, basically, I have no idea what road that is, honestly. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the only difference is the actual design in here. I'm trying not to get too close to the camera. But the only difference is the design. The lakes are different colors. Uh, the, basically the, just different colors and they're much more brighter and they look much better on here. So clicking or tapping over there, uh, you have the option to go to hybrid mode. And that will just give you an actual bird's view of it. And then there's satellite, which also kind of does the same thing. So I'm going to go back to standard. Drop pin. I'll just drop it right there, if I can move it. I think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can. But anyways, uh, let's just keep it dropped there. Uh, tap the car view and it will give you, well not really a view, but it will give you the actual way you can get there. So uh, you can just tap start and from there you can do your things and right there it gives you the directions what to do. So if I go to the next one it actually keeps going to the next one, it keeps zooming out. And zooming in and so on. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's much better in the iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, and the iPod Touch 5th generation because it has the turn-by-turn -turn direction, which give you gives you the 3D overlook of the buildings and so on. Next up is Siri. I can't really talk about it using an iPod Touch 4th generation. But it's actually better, and they brought it to the iPod Touch for the first time. Uh, so it's only on the iPod Touch 5th generation. As you can see, the 4th generation still has the voice control because it doesn't have the things like the processor. So it's on the new iPod Touch because the iPod Touch has the A5 processor, which is in the iPhone 4S, which has Siri. So they were able to bring it to the iPod Touch. Next is Facebook. They have the option to share to Facebook, which is pretty awesome. Before it was just Twitter, so I'm actually just going to take a picture. I had to take all these off to actually upgrade to iOS 6 because it required 2 gigabytes or 2.4 gigabytes of memory. So here's my picture. I can just tap the little share icon and it's got this new view instead of just a list view. And it's slow because, again, it's the a4 processor. Uh, so there's mail, messages, photo stream, Twitter, Facebook, uh, I can't read that through the camera, assign to contacts, and now you have the option to print it, copy it, or use as wallpaper, which was there before. But it gives you these actual views here, which is much better, and now you can share it to Facebook. So canceling out of that, another thing you can share to Facebook is sliding down notification center. Uh, it's kind of glitchy. Yeah. But anyways, uh, you can tap to post right there and it's got the little Facebook icon. And just simply type your post and click send. Okay, next will be photo shared photo streams. So now if you go into the photos app, you can actually share it to the photo stream right there. And photo stream, basically I'll go back here. 
in the photo stream and you can add photos right there and it's pretty cool because the people that are in your contacts that, and your friends with and all that stuff they can comment and like your picture kind of like Facebook mm -mm. okay next I'm gonna talk about passbook so passbook isn't really it's not really that useful yet because it all the apps don't really have passbook set up with them so right now I just have it when you open it it takes you to what you can do in passbook tap the app store and it will take you to the app store where you can download apps that work with passbook and from there you can add coupons and etc to passbook so I'm not really gonna use that because yeah never mind <laughs> uh, next is FaceTime which you can do over 3G or 4G now which is pretty awesome it, it since 3G isn't that fast it's probably very you know skippy like that and you know so next is the phone app it got some upgrades for the iPhone 4S, iPhone 5 and iPhone 4 basically all the iPhones uh, from 3GS and up uh, so basically what they did was added it so you can they just added more features actually I'm gonna have to go ahead and click on here uh, so now you can uh, reply with a message or remind me later to call the person back uh, if you can't talk right now you can just simply uh, when the person calls you if you don't want to talk to them you can just tap uh, reply with message and you have the option to say, I'll call you later, I'm on my way, what's up, or a custom message. So that is actually pretty cool as I scroll to the top. Next is mail, it got a few upgrades. Uh, so what I like about mail and some other things like settings, uh, I'm just going to go in here. Uh, the top bar at the top is a different color, and it just seems much more cleaner, so when you slide to refresh, it's got that cool little animation right there instead of the old refresh which actually does it in every refresh on the apps that you just slide to refresh so that's pretty cool and you slide up and it refreshes way away so you can't really hold it there so yeah that's pretty cool uh, next is Safari I have to search for that oh yeah and might as well go through another Safari might as well go through another thing. Uh, right there, it tells you the folder that you have it in. So I have it in Utilities. And you can tap on it and open it. So I think there's not really that much new stuff. So I'm not really going to go over this. Next, they also have Accessibility. Uh, where they added more accessibility options for people you know that aren't tech savvy I guess so yeah that's about it for the what is it 10 futures that I am giving you in this video and I hope you enjoyed it and I'm Chris the Apple one and I will see you in my next video and be sure to click the subscribe button peace